Hey everybody, Animon Glendora here, and welcome to another episode of Anime Season 3. And, I know the picture was very confusing. A lot of you are probably thinking, John Smith from, po uh, from Pocahontas isn't an anime character? No, he's not. But there is an anime character who goes by the name John Smith. Those, those who are uh, veteran fans of anime know exactly which anime I'm talking about. I am talking about the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya and the character who goes by the name of John Smith, Kion. It is the name he chooses uh, to give Haruhi when he travels into when he travels into the past. Now. People who don't know who Kion is, he's the guy on my chat. He's the guy on my channel who's always in this pose. And people who have seen some of my earlier videos know I uh, know whenever I'm about to talk about something that is bad, I always start off in that pose. And the reason why I do that is because. Every time I'm about to make a video that I don't want to, I always start off in that pose because I'm contemplating my life choices. I am considering, I am actually wondering why I'm doing this. Um, because I don't like talking about things that I don't like. Unless it's something so bad, it has to be considered good. Like, for instance... This, the movie Krampus. This movie is so horrible, it has to be good. It's one of those movies that's so bad it's good, just like The Room and Troll 2, just like The Room, Troll 2, uh, the Star Wars prequels. It's a movie that's so bad, it's good. And... Those I'm okay with, but talking about things that I don't like, uh, really get, talking about things that I really don't like, um, just, it gets to me. I don't like talking about stuff like that. Uh, I don't like getting angry. I don't like losing control of myself. I don't like getting depressed. So, I don't usually get angry or get depressed. I don't let things get to me. At least I try not to. I mean, sure, sometimes someone will hit the right buttons in the exact right order, and that will set off my fuse, but, like, uh, not, I don't let people know me that well. So it's nearly impossible for them to actually do that because they don't know me that well. Because I don't let them know me that well. If they know me that well, well enough to know exactly what buttons to push in which order, they can easily manipulate my emotions. And I don't want to give anyone the satisfaction of knowing that they can manipulate my emotions. So I don't let people get close to me. I have the issue of trust, okay? I, it's hard for me to trust people. And it was the same way with Kion. He doesn't really trust any, he doesn't really trust anyone. And like me, he didn't believe in Santa Claus, in Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy or the Easter Bunny or anything like that when he was a kid. I didn't believe that stuff when I was a kid. I didn't believe that stuff when I was a kid. When I was five, when I was five or no, I was six. When I was six, I waited downstairs Christmas Eve all night. Stayed up all night uh, to s stayed up all night to see if Santa w to see if Santa would come. Uh, because I honestly didn't believe it. I didn't believe he would actually come, and. Uh, then I heard uh, my parents moving from upstairs, so I pretended to be a, so I pretended to be asleep. Uh, they put and I heard them putting the presents under the tree, and I'm like, and that just confirmed what I are, and that just confirmed what I already suspected, and I just, I don't, I, I share this connection with. Kion, like, back in high school, if anyone were to ask me what character I thought I was most like, I would have said 
Tomoya Okazaki in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, I would have said him. But honestly, looking at myself now and what and how I've progressed, um, and I see myself more as Kion. I'm more like Kion than I am Tomoya now. Like, sure, back in high school, I was a lot like uh, Tomoya, but ever since graduation, I've become more like Kion. Uh, especially when I'm around uh, a group of my friends or my family. I feel like I'm the only sane person amongst them, which is saying a lot, considering how I pride myself on being crazy. I love being crazy. I love being unpredictable to people. It's part of what keeps them guessing. It's part of what makes it so that they can't figure me out because I'm always doing something unpredictable. I am known throughout... I am known at my job and at my home and at my home and amongst my friends. I'm known as a loud person. Okay, like when I talk, I'm loud, naturally loud. Um, <laughs> my family is full of music is full of musicians and actors and whatnot, and of course, I'm gonna end up becoming loud. And after ten year and after ten years. Of singing, uh, of singing practice, learning singing practice and acting and acting classes. Of course, I'm going to learn to use my voice and vocalize. Of course, I'm going to be loud after ten years of that. And yet, I keep people guessing because while I can be very loud, I have scared the living shit out of so many people because they expect me when I'm walking up they expect me to say something loudly they expect me to make a lot of noise when I'm walking so there will be plenty of times when I will just walk up to a person walk up to a person from behind say hi say hi in a normal voice in a normal sounding voice Average volume, not too high, and I'll scare the living shit out of them because they don't expect it from me. They don't expect me to be sneaky, and that's where I get them. That's how I get them. I am unpredictable. Uh, I every time I say something incredibly smart or wise, I upset it. By saying something completely random. Some, uh, something such as, this moment of wisdom was brought to you by cake. Like, I just say something off the top of my head, just to ups something stupid off the top of my head, just to upset the wise, smart thing I just said. Like, that sounds incredibly weird and stupid, I know, but like... I pride myself on being crazy. And that is something that a crazy person would do. Um, and Kion, I connect with him so much. I connect with him so much now because he does have a crazy side. He's done some really weird and crazy shit. Uh, some of it was even his idea. And, and yet, when you get past that, and yet, when you get past that, when you put him in a room with a bunch of other crazy people, he looks like he's the only sane person. And it's just, I, and here's the thing. I've known the eccentric girl. I've known the shy, I've known the shy girl. I've known the bookworm. I've known the, I've known the perfect guy, the perfect guy that all the girls, that all the girls want to fuck. Like, I've known these people. I've known these people. I've been friends with these people. They are all insane. They are all insane in their own unique, weird way. And I just connect with Kion so much more now uh, than, I, uh, than I did with uh, Tomoya. I love Tomoya. He's still awesome. He's still an awesome character. Still one of my favorite anime characters. But 
he's not who I am anymore. He was back in high school, but I'm out of high school. I have grown. I have changed. I have evolved. And I'm more like Kyo now than I was Tomoya. Uh, and that's why he's on my list. He's number three. I see myself as Kyo. Uh, that is whom I see myself as. And that's why he's on the center of um, my YouTube page. And why he's on the bottom half of my profile pick um which speaking of which just to briefly uh sum that just to briefly sum that up basically my youtube page and my profile pick um i'm shipping tomoya and taiga i know they're from different series i know they're from different series but i don't care i ship them i uh, i th i think they would make an amazing couple um like, I have nothing against Nagisa or Ryuji. I think they're both wonderful characters, and I'm happy for them for getting together with their... Uh, to getting together with Tomoya and Taiga. I'm happy for them. But I also think that Tomoya and Taiga would make an amazing couple. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's it for this one. This is a really long one. Wow, like 11 and a half minutes. Wow! Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna wrap this up because this is gonna take a while to upload onto YouTube. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching. Number two should number two should be coming out. Uh, to, uh, number two should be coming out tomorrow, so you can look forward to that. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, take care, everyone.